frogs and toads are both amphibians. They have short bodies and wide heads, as well as two front arms and two hind legs. Frogs and toads catch prey with their long, sticky tongues, too. Since they cannot live in polluted environments, they are understood as indicators of a healthy ecosystem. Because of these similarities, people may sometimes mistake one for the other. Then, how can we distinguish them? As amphibians, frogs and toads belong to the order Inura. This means tailless in Greek. Toads are a subclassification of frogs. This means that all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Frogs belong to the family Ranidae, and toads are members of the family Bufanidae. Their bodies and noses look different as well. Frogs' bodies look longer and slimmer. However, toads' bodies are broader and stouter. Frogs' noses are somewhat pointy in shape, but toads have a much broader nose than that of frogs. Frogs have smoother and slimier skin that is also moist. On the other hand, toad skin is thicker and usually drier. In addition, it is rougher and has warts. Both animals are known to have long hind legs, but frogs have longer legs than toads. Frogs typically have long, strong hind legs. These can sometimes be even longer than their body. Thanks to these legs, frogs can leap far over ground and swim quickly in water. In contrast, toads' hind legs are shorter than their body. Because of this, toads tend to walk or crawl instead of hopping. Frogs and toads also have different color patterns. Frogs are usually brighter and more brilliant in color than toads. They mostly come in seven different colors, including green, blue, yellow, red, brown, gray, and black. Poison frogs, like dart frogs, are usually very colorful. Toads are commonly brown or dark green with spots that come in a range of colors. Another difference between frogs and toads is whether they are poisonous or not. Not all frogs are poisonous, but some species are. For example, golden poison frogs are considered to be one of the most toxic animals in the world. They even have enough poison to kill 10 to 20 people. Different from frogs, all toads are generally poisonous to animals, but not all of them are severely toxic to humans. However, some toads, such as cane toads and Colorado River toads, can be dangerous to humans. Frogs and toads' habitats are clearly different. Frogs can be found on every continent with the exception of Antarctica. They reside in rainforests, swamps, tundra areas, and even deserts. Frogs basically live in water but do not stay there all the time. Since the majority of them have lungs, they can leave the water for a while. Toads can live all across the world except Australia, Polynesia, Madagascar, and the polar regions. They spend most of their time on land, but they stay close to the water. They prefer moist areas such as grasslands and fields. Despite their different habitats, both frogs and toads need water or a wet place to mate and lay eggs. These eggs are called spawn, and the appearance of these vary between frogs and toads. The tadpoles look different as well. Frogs lay eggs in clumps in the water, so they stay in clusters. Instead, toads spawn form stringy strands, and they float on the water or get tangled up in aquatic plants. When the eggs hatch, the babies are called tadpoles. Like their parents, frogs' tadpoles are longer and more slender than toads' tadpoles. They are dotted all over with golden flecks. Different from these, toads' tadpoles are shorter and chubbier. They are mostly black. Now you know how to tell the differences between frogs and toads. That's all I have for today. Thank you.